Welcome to our channel and aboard Tootsie Marie. My name is Yvette and this is Tyler. We are a couple from Seattle, Washington who decided to buy a catamaran and move to the Caribbean. We hope you will join us for this crazy adventure and all the fun and challenging things that lie ahead. Welcome back to our channel. This week, we're taking you along as we get some gas, as you'll see here shortly, and then we make our way to Halifax and get tangled up in a fisherman's net. noticed there were some fishermen cleaning their catch, so I went down for a closer look. The big one's a wahoo, and the other ones are barracuda. The eyeball of the wahoo is really pretty. Since I was already on the dock, I decided to take out the trash. Making my way back to the boat so we can go back to Halifax Harbor. That's where we're headed after we fill our tanks. Tootsie Marie, which is a Lagoon 440, holds 170 gallons total. So that's two tanks with 85 gallons on each side. This sweet fisherman was helping us put our lines in and he overthrew and we thought he was going in. He was so nimble, he caught himself and didn't fall off the dock. What a trooper. As Tyler navigates us away from the dock, it's my turn to put the lines away and remove all the fenders. Halifax Harbor, here we come. It's a beautiful morning here in Halifax. Just had a little bit of rain pass through. I see that the fishing net has uh, drifted right into our boat, which wasn't hard to predict. You can see it, and then it goes around our our chain, and then back under the boat. And it makes its way, I believe, down the middle of our boat, under the prop. there. This is the view from our bedroom. You can see that fishing net runs right on through the boat. What a mess. Tyler and I decided to take matters into our own hands and retrieve these fishing nets. They were very heavy and hard to deal with, but we didn't want it to damage our boat or tangle up even further. He's putting out the fishing net for the day that they set 10 feet from our boat overnight. 
been spending our morning getting untangled. Now she's on the paddle board, paddling the last of it out of our way. Talk about an arm workout. Those fishing nets weighed at least 75 pounds. When the boat boys came back, they felt really bad about what happened with the fish nets. So they did give us some snapper and shared with us some other goodies that they found. This is a coral crab. Poor little guy's missing an arm. And this unique creature I have never seen before. This is a slipper lobster. You can eat them just like a regular lobster. The meat is in the tail. He seemed pretty small and we didn't want to eat him either but it was sure fun to look at. He felt like velvet. After struggling with the fishing nets, we decided to relax on the bow. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week.